what's going on, gamers? Oh my god, I'm excited for this one. Oh, see, this time, there have always been reservations with me when it comes to talking about very specific people. I always wonder, do, I, do they deserve this? Do they deserve what I'm going to do right now? And I have no doubt in my mind that the motherfucker I'm about to speak to you about, holy shit, she fucking deserves this and more. Now, it's become a little more widespread, uh, the uh, 8chan post full of, you know, the racial slurs. You know, the entire long fucking years worth of lists of racial slurs that this woman has said to people. But, uh, I'm not gonna talk so much about that. I think that's fairly well common knowledge, and it's fa far enough in the past. I think that that's not really as relevant of an issue. In case you haven't guessed, we're gonna be talking about Hypno, the Pokemon enthusiast I can only imagine. I mean, she named herself fucking Hypno, right? The fucking Pokemon enthusiast who runs Barking Mad Suits. And oh my god, this fucking basket case is just... Oh, she's a gold mine. She is a fucking gold mine of content. I swear to God, Freud would cream himself if he, if he fucking looked at this woman just for half a fucking second. But I think for the sake of entertainment, at least, I'm not going to be calling her Hypno. I think that's giving Pokemon, that franchise, a bad name. And again, I don't, I don't know if she's, you know, into that sort of thing. I can imagine, though. But... I'm mostly going to be calling her Shepard for the remainder of this video, just because she's got a legion of fucking brainless sheep who are now attacking everybody who says anything negative about their holy lady. So I think the best way to get into this is to start exactly where I began and just lead you through that little rabbit hole I got to fall down, learning more and more about Shepard, because I think that's just one of the best ways to go through this, alright? Cheers. Let's get into this. To be honest, I really didn't know anything about Shepard until I saw an innocuous post from one Punished Snake on Twitter, and I decided to reach out to him, and this was the conversation we had. Hey, do you mind if I ask more about the situation with that fursuit creator? I'm looking for more topics to cover, and since that falls into the category of furry drama, my typical niche, I was hoping to see if you knew where I could get more information on this situation so I can cover it in a video. To which he replied, Certainly. Hypno used to be a friend of mine. Sometime in early 2017, I commissioned her for a partial suit, which she charged me $850 for. That ended up being less than what she needed, but was too much of a bitch to renegotiate the price with me. She got one or two parts made, but over a year passes and she has nothing to show me. After missing three deadlines from AC to MFF, I finally asked for my money back. She whined about how I was causing her great emotional distress. She only gave me $500 of my original $850 back and took two months to do so. She's accepted commissions from many other people that run in my circle, with only one of them actually getting their suit partially done because he grilled her enough to motivate her. One of my buddies, who used to be friends with her, said that she once bragged about how she could easily have a detailed full suit completed within two months, but couldn't be bothered to do so. Shortly after, I demanded my refund. She borrowed a few grand from her boyfriend at the time, then dumped him. Not sure if he ever got that money back. I'd like to warn all of you going forward, we're going to be seeing a little bit of a pattern of behavior here from Shepard, because after this conversation, and based off of the many more that I've had, trust me, she does not deviate from this playbook at all. So upon speaking with Punish Snake, two more people reached out to me. Now the first person to reach out to me, his name was Avery, and he was, well, he was kind enough to share his experience with me, as well as provide a few extra little details that I was not aware of at the time. Now, Avery's story kind of goes along the same vein. Furry meets Fursuit Maker. Furry hires Fursuit Maker. Fursuit Maker spurgs out over the course of 18 months and decides to cancel the commission and then pockets 30% of the money despite delivering absolutely fuck all. You know, tale as old as fucking time. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait a second. That's not a tale as old as time. No, that's just retarded, isn't it? But see... Right here in her terms of service, it says she gets to keep 30% of whatever the commission fee happened to be upon cancellation. I know, that, that seems like it should, that seems realistically like an okay thing. Except she was the one who fucking canceled in this situation. Not only that, she never backed up any of the reasons that she canceled on him. She never provided evidence of any of the things she said about him as to why she was canceling. So, if she's going to use her terms of service this way... What's stopping her from taking on a near infinite number of commissions and then just dropping all of them whenever she feels like and pocketing 30% of the money? Well, the answer to that is not much. But see, 
This is Shepard's fandom. It's where paranoia rules the day, where she can make up an infinite number of reasons inside of her own mind to justify her own retarded fucking behavior. And then use that to try to make everyone else look bad, like they're the fucking crazy one. Oh my god, this woman. I swear to god. What is wrong with you? Now, ordinarily, you'd think the story has to end there, right? It, it legitimately has to. No one can be this dense, this fucking brain dead. Well, you've clearly never met Shepard. You see, according to Tangerine Passerine, she was also supposedly working, wink wink, on each of these, but she also happened to fail to deliver on a great many of them over the course of 2018. But believe me, one of the absolute greatest parts of this story is that Tangerine Passerine actually confirms that on the drive back, with her boyfriend driving the car after having paid for the convention, her stay at that convention, she's talking in one of her private group chats about dumping him when they get back. And I also followed this up and had a conversation with her former paramour, who completely confirms that this is the case. He did pay for her stay at this convention, and she did in fact leave him without even fucking paying him back the money that he shelled out for her fucking convention stay. What the fuck, dude? Uh, Shepard, Shepard, this is this is just a side note to you, Shepard. How the fuck do you get like you, lady? Like who the fuck hurt you? What happened to you? Now, you may remember a little bit ago when she canceled Avery's commission and stated that she was keeping 30% of his commission because he violated her terms of service. Well, the thing is, she accepted more money from this person for add-ons, which, uh, mind you, her terms of service say that she will not accept add-ons and they will be flat out rejected after the payment has been delivered, which this was after the payment was delivered. So, um, it's actually a little bit more complex now, because she's violating her own terms of service whenever it suits her agenda. However, she's still trying to use it to defend herself as far as all of these things. Like, my TOS says, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Shepard, but if you're willing to violate it in your favor, you kind of don't get to use it to your defense anymore. Yes, they are yours, and you did write them, Shepard, but the reality is, you were also the one who violated them first, meaning you kind of fucking owe everybody their full refund when you're the one who's canceling. You don't get to use this to your advantage while then simultaneously saying, oh, it doesn't fucking matter, I can get money out of this. Are you fucking... Oh, God, I I need a break. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be... I'll be right... I'll be right back, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, shit. Now, you might think that this is the fullest extent of every single thing. This is all there is to the story. Well, you would once again be giving Shepard way too much fucking credit. She doesn't have that many brain cells. Now I want to get into the really fun part. The part where she will actively insult and debase people who hire her behind their backs. Oh, Avery was kind enough to, to lend me his chat logs with her. And, uh, as you can see right here, this is from about when, uh, when Punish Snake was one of the people who, uh, had commissioned her. Oof, actually, uh, I know that I said I wasn't going to talk about that whole, you know, racist stuff, but, um, yeah, that doesn't look like she's changed very much. Especially when you consider that that was probably less than a year ago. And, well, buddy, that is not a meme context. That's not a meme context like I've defended before. That is an active, hateful context and used in a malicious sense. Oh, can we even show that on YouTube? Fuck it, I'm showing it anyway. I mean, you're probably sold by now on the fact that she's a really shitty human being. I mean, she talks about customers behind their backs in very derogatory manners. She cancels commissions and pockets 30% despite the fact she was the one who canceled. She offers no evidence of anything she says of why she's canceling. She smears people behind their backs. She she does all of this shit. There's no way she could be worse. I mean, I mean she she outright stole from her ex. She didn't pay him back for a convention that he fully paid for. Well, how about we just throw in a fucking gun threat? How does that sound?
Does that one sound? Does that sound fair? That's right, guys. I am not even making this up. You you think I would have to be? But she she's, oh, she is a real piece of work. Because wouldn't you know it, this woman, in all of her spurred out paranoid glory, decided that after she left him at Anthrocon, she was going to try to get him barred from registering at MFF. Holy shit, she is that fucking terrified that somebody might just say, yeah, I paid for her trip to the convention, and then she fucking dumped me right after and never paid me back. This is how scared she is of the fucking truth. She will actively try to say somebody might just shoot up the fucking convention to try to stop them from actively being there. That is how terrified the truth makes this fucking woman. So why don't we recap what we've talked about here? She's really into, one, making derogatory and defamatory statements about her customers behind their backs when they can't defend themselves. Two, stealing from her customers while abusing her own terms of service to justify it. Or, or just mental gymnastics with nothing in reality backing them. And three, borderline domestic terrorism. Oh. Well, I tell you what, Shepard, you are absolutely the hero the fandom needs and fucking deserves right now. Holy shit. Let's just, you know, I just, I want to, can you, can you just, I want to send you an award, you know? I want to engrave dumbass on it for you as well. So just, just send me, send me just an address to send that to and I'll, I'll get that right out to you we'll make it uh maybe not gold plated i don't make that much money how about how about just dried shit or or would that just seem that'd be hitting too close to home because it's what you seem to be well i certainly hope you found this an enlightening experience and believe me i'm gonna go drink myself into a stupor now to try to forget everything i've learned about this fucked up lady anyway the links to the artists who contributed to my character stills as well as this video on the whole are in the pinned comment below and they're in the description as are the social media outlets of the people who were also in this video. I wanted to thank everyone who came forward to speak to me about this woman for participating and I want to stress if you have a story about what this woman may have done to you if you have commissioned her you need to speak out about this because this kind of dumbassery this fucking oh it doesn't stop until people make it stop. So please, don't stay silent. I know everyone frowns on call-out culture, but this is the kind of thing that people need to be made aware of. So please come forward if you have an experience similar to this. Alright, I will catch you guys in the next video.